I was saying a very good morning to you. I hope that you're well. Thank you so much for, for being part of uh, this morning conversation. This is Why in the Morning. Now, my name is Ram Maguko. It is a pleasure being with you today on this particular Monday morning. It is the 28th of March, 2022. I hope that you're well. Welcome back if you're just joining us. Remember, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website. That's a www.kbc.co. KE forward slash Y254. Engage with us. We value your feedback. Let us know where you're watching us from. And I shall sample your feedback a bit later on during this particular morning show. All right. So today we want to talk about youth and politics. What has been taking trends in the past one week and of course recently. And we shall take a look at the people daily as we analyze a newspaper today on this particular Monday morning. Remember, uh, uh, KCPE exams are coming up in a bit. At the same time, we're talking about the president saying that, you know what? The deputy has been planning uh, a, a scheme to remove him from power. We shall be talking about that in a bit. And of course, joining me in this particular conversation, I am with Coletta Okilo to my ex Okila to my extreme right. She is a MCA aspirant for Harambe Award. Can you say now, Coletta? Thank you. Thank You're you. well? Yeah, well, I'm good. Thank How are you? you so much. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Good to see you. Good to Thank see you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. All right, and next to me is uh, Billy Kibichi. He is uh, the national chairman at Youth Kenya Falcon Group. Karim Sana Billy. Thank you very much. Uh, You're well? A pleasure having you. Thank you so much for coming. Good morning to you too. Good morning. Asante uh, Sana. Yeah. And of course, the hashtag is why in the morning. At Ram Aguko is where you can be able to find me at Y254 Channel is the official station handle. And of course, uh, my colleague's handle is at uh, 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 Stephanie Ayeta. Engage with us. We value your feedback. Now, first things first, KCPE examinations are either coming up today or tomorrow. And uh, our candidates that uh, sat their Kenya Certificate of Primary Education uh, should be uh, uh, expecting to re receive these results. So many, of course, are expected to be anxious. And of course, I want us to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> the Education CS Professor George Magoha last week assured that the results were ready and uh, will be released depending on the president's uh, diary. Mm -hmm. um, your thoughts about these particular examinations and of course maybe a word of uh, uh, advice to our candidates that uh, sat their examinations. Let me start with you, Coletta. Yeah, yeah. No pressure, actually. I, I, I usually tell my people uh, mm. exams is just for now. Yeah. yeah. And it's you failing or passing your KCP doesn't mean you'll be successful or a failure in life. Mm -hmm. So it's all about what is next. Yeah. Whether you pass or you fail, what is next for you? Mm -hmm. So don't overthink about what you're getting. But the question is, what's next after what's this? Next? Yes. When, when I was doing my, okay, when I was waiting for my KCP, <laughs> I yeah. remember my fear was actually my parents being disappointed or not. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, that was the, the only pressure thing. pressure is just too much. Yeah? It's too much. But for, for KCSE, I was thinking about life. True. For KCP, I was thinking about my your parents. Your parents. parents. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Billy, your thoughts about it? Yeah, personally, I do have my two brothers doing the same exam. KCP. Mm. Ah. They are twin Blood brothers. brothers. Yeah, brother. Okay. So I, we expect the best from them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And KCP, so you, you have to impress your parents mm -hmm. first. You have mm -hmm. to give back to your parents. Mm -hmm. you, your parents are the ones who invest in you. You, okay. know? you know, academics is, is an uh, investment. Mm -hmm. And what you get after the KCP is what determines your high school. Mm -hmm. And your high school determines your university or your future mm -hmm. yeah. so kcp exam is very critical is very is the foundation is the, uh, the basis of everything in life so mm -hmm. we wish them the best and we yeah. accept we expect nothing but the best from them now um uh, uh, we're talking about about 1.2 million candidates yeah, yeah. that's at their uh, kcpe mm -hmm. and uh, we are seeing them joining high school in the next one month mm -hmm. yeah so different from how it was yeah. Yeah. due to COVID. Mm -hmm. um, well, the, how, how do you expect this to even, uh, you know, uh, aff will, will this affect uh, the candidates? Um, do you see this having, um, you know, any psychological effect on them, even mentally? 
Mm. Are they prepared, you know, joining high school in the next one month? Yeah, I believe, I think, I think they are prepared. It's just that it's not the norm that we're used to. Mm. But I, I believe they're ready because once you're in school, you know, it's it's marathon. Mm. So until you you hit the break, yeah. and even nowadays, uh, even KCSE, they don't take as much time as we did. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I believe they're used to by now, mm -hmm. and it's 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 good because it's keeping them busy, mm -hmm. which is uh, which is something good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, um, uh, the, the, we we are uh, wishing uh, our candidates success. Remember the sure. English composition and uh, Kiswahili insha were marked manually. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ile una vizuri word for word. Yeah. Yeah, I remember how we used to do use a lot of idioms. And and the frog's kingdom. Oh eh? Frog's yes. Kingdom, oh, you know, yes. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see before I ran as fast I, I ran as fast as my thin mosquito like <laughs> legs could carry me. <laughs> Kaisi wow. Pihi candidates, we wish you the best. Yes. Wish you the best. Mr. Yes. Peter, mm -hmm. and of course on behalf of Y in the Morning Crew, mm -hmm. uh, a success sure. in these particular results, uh, examinations that, uh, examination results that we are expecting. Yeah. Uh, whatever you receive, work with that. Yeah. Sendeo. True. Yeah. Tunamini ya kwamba yendo mbu. That's what you did. Yes. Hakuna kitu kama God giving you. You gave it your best. <laughs> you gave it your best. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. moving forward, I want us to, talk, to, to, to touch on politics now. Sure. Um, let us know about what Falcon Group is all about before we continue, because you're the national chair chairperson of that particular entity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, at uh, Youth Falcon Group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Youth Kenya Falcon Group is about. Um, Mainly, mm. we advocate for uh, youth involvement in politics and leadership mm -hmm. and governance in Kenya. Mm. So it's a national group. For now, we have we, are, we have our presence in about um, 11 counties. Mm -hmm. uh, we started a year ago, and uh, we are progressing. Okay. Yeah. All so right. it's an you know uh, in Kenya in, in the political dynamics uh, at the moment. The youth vote, the youth blocking vote, there are some challenges they are facing during the elections, you know. Mm. So the group uh, seeks to remedy the challenges like, um, for example, the youth in Kenya, uh, some of the challenges they face during elections and during leadership being left out is due to misinformation, uh, lack of uh, the right, the correct information, uh, ignorance, you know, such things, you know, mm -hmm. and the negative perception created on politicians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the group creates a platform where, uh, at the group we run a, a forum called Youth Kenya Politics, where the youth get to listen to their leaders, mm -hmm. they, get, uh, they, get, they listen to them, and them too can be heard. You know, so they can air out physical, there. A physical so the forum, online. yeah. Huh? So the forum, both we run physically when we when, when we hold uh, conferences, and uh, we run it on uh, all our social media handles. Okay. So it's a conversation which is going on. Mm -hmm. So the youth can air out their challenges, what they face through their issues, and they, they can both uh, hear from their leaders. What's the, what's the name of the group? Um, so, uh, Youth Kenya Politics, you, uh, we do interchangeably. So, uh, on Twitter, you can find out at Youth Kenya Politics, Youth KE Politics, mm. but the group name is Youth Kenya Falcon Group. Okay. The same to Facebook. Mm. On Instagram, is Youth Kenya F Politics. Mm. Uh, that's why that's that's why we we engage the young voters on All matters right. politics. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much. And, uh, and I'm really very much interested, in, you know, in knowing. Um, the, the 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 fruit so far that you've uh, yeah yeah acquired absolute, when absolute. It comes to changing the political dynamics yeah. in the country especially in regards to the youth yeah mm -hmm. so at youth Kenya uh, falcon group mm -hmm. apart from uh, actually it's a self help group registered with the government and um, apart from being a youth group we do other other activities right. like team building mm -hmm. uh, you know yeah, okay. political activities and others mm -hmm. yeah. right. also we run a youth and leadership forum
mm. on the uh, uh, among our high school students. Oh. So we do visit secondary schools, high schools, and we, you know, they are the 18 years. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so, yes. so do you talk politics? Do you talk leadership? Uh, because now high school is uh, a, bit, <laughs> a, a bit interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a bit <laughs> yeah. interesting. You know, yeah. we have to prepare them for the future. Okay. They are the young voters. They are the uh, 18 years, 17 years. They are the next voters. All so right. they have to be informed of what to expect in mm -hmm. future. All right. yeah. uh, let me come to Coletta. Yeah. You're vying for Harambe Ward. Yes. Why you? Why should they come for you? Why should they hey, not come for you? <laughs> 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 why should they choose you? <laughs> they can watch too much movies. <laughs> why should they, they choose you? Yeah. Uh, what why do you have for the people of Harambe? Okay. Mm. Thank you. So why, ne? why, why Coletta? Yeah. Uh, but I, I should introduce myself. So uh, who's Coletta? Coletta mm -hmm. is a mom. Coletta is the Majiri, the mm. Yeah. So. I believe I have I have uh, what it takes to be to take our our word yeah. to what it should be and mm -hmm. to what it was in uh, in when we were growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of youths there, and uh, that's why you remember when you asked me about the KCP results. I told you it's about what's next in my area. It's a sport. It's a sporty word. So most of us are actually earning their living through uh, their talents. Mm -hmm. So we have acrobats, we have football players, we have different, uh, we have different talents in our world. Mm -hmm. So I can say like 70% of our youths are in entertainment. Mm -hmm. It can be boxing, it can, it can be anything, mm -hmm. but it's entertainment that is it's their talent that is putting food on their table. Okay. So I really want to, to work on that in terms of how can they, <clears throat> how can they get the platform they need mm -hmm. for them to get to where they should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, it's about bringing that platform where uh, empowerment yeah. through sports, True. which is um, the core thing at uh, your ward. At my ward, yes. Okay, yes. okay. And yes. Uh, w w in terms of employment, mm -hmm. Um, do you see this as being one main source of uh, earning? For yes, your it is. yes, mm -hmm. it is. And that's why I actually want to major in it. Okay. Yes. Because okay. right. yes. uh -huh. you find not so many people there go to university or something. Not because they can't, mm -hmm. but it, okay, a financial problem, of course, straining. And number two, it's because you're very good at this thing. You're very good at football. You're very good at acrobats. You're very good at boxing. Mm -hmm. So if it can earn you money, mm -hmm. they don't see the essence of actually going to school to do something different. But, but, but what's your vision for Harambe? Because if it comes to sports, yeah. another aspirant can also... Sure. Yeah? Sure, sure. What's, what makes yours stand out? What makes me mine stand out is because yeah. it's in... I love Harambe. Like I said, I'm I'm born and breeding. Born and breeding. Yes. Yeah. So it's not about what I want. It, it, it's the vision that I have in my head mm -hmm. that I want to do. Mm -hmm. I usually say, if I can get someone, if I can get a leader who shares the same values with me, okay. I don't mind holding the light for them to shine. Selfless. Yes. As long as we give the best to our people. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Um, now, I want us to touch on politics. The first thing, even as we talk about this, because at the end of the day, national politics affects True. politics at the world, at the world, le world level, level yeah. and at the county level. Yes. And of course, um, one particular issue that I, that I would like to bring <coughs> on board that is also making headlines in many of our dailies mm -hmm. is uh, the statement made by President in regards to his deputy. And of course, mm -hmm. the, uh, in, in response, uh, the deputy president uh, william ruto yesterday vigorously denied the allegations that were made by the president to in regards to uh, toppling uh, uh, the president from leadership and of course uh, uh, he termed the reports as malicious propaganda and of course i'm going to give you chance to, a chance to respond to this and he said and i quote they say the deputy pre president wants to topple Uhuru Kenyatta. How can someone who helped the president form government plot to impeach him? Mm -hmm. Let us have some respect. Even if they do not want to help me, let us stop propaganda and divisive politics. End of quote. Mm -hmm. 
What are your thoughts in regards to this? Let me start with you, Benny. <coughs> the, de the deputy says uh, uh, he could not plot to remove his boss from government as they formed together. Yeah, so on that issue, I think there's a lot of propaganda. There's a lot of um, issues surrounding that issue. So when you look at uh, Bill, the deputy president, I think he's a, he's a man who, who fought for this government. He's a man who uh, did, uh, is, is the man who is most responsible for this government formation. So I don't think uh, Bill will do that to a government which he formed. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you look at, uh, I think this, this issue uh, originates from the, the Jubilee nominations in 2017. When you look at d during those uh, during that denominations, the um, you remember there was a lot of chaos uh, both in Jubilee and the opposition. Mm -hmm. So uh, each party had to, re to do a uh, repeat nominations. So during that nominations, I think uh, it is uh, Deputy President William Ruto who took charge of the nominations at Jubilee. So by that happening, you see. Um, Many who won the seats are perceived to be his allies, especially in the stronghold, the Jubilee stronghold uh, in Mount Kenya and the Rift Valley. Mm -hmm. So by that, I think um, the, there was a lot of mistrust in the Jubilee High Command. And uh, people started bringing up the issues so that uh, the deputy president has too much people close to him, members of parliament who have the power through parliament to impeach the president. <coughs> but now so in, in, in regards to this, how, um, what are the ramifications of, of, of what you're saying in regards to this particular issue here? So what I'm saying is that uh, many people perceived that the deputy president controlled the majority of the Jubilee MPs, which uh, Jubilee as a party uh, got a uh, majority in parliament. So by majority of the uh, members of parliament from Jubilee party being allies of the deputy president, mm. I think there was a lot of mistrust and uh, they maybe they can bring up something like uh, the deputy president was planning to impeach the president. So you know? you're saying that whatever but they're saying is true? I, I'm not propaganda. saying that. Do, uh, when you look at the deputy president, he's the man who fought for this government. He campaigned countrywide for this government. So how can he come back and uh, bring down the same government. All right. So to my opinion, I don't think the deputy president had uh, any in ill intentions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Pauletta? There's no smoke where there's no fire. There's no fear. Mm -hmm. So uh, these two are very powerful leaders. These two are very opinionated leaders. These two were very good friends. Mm. Yeah. They used to call themselves brother. Brothers. They used to... They used to be couple goals. <laughs> yeah, they come with white shirts and uh, <laughs> red ties. Yeah. You know, these people were together like yeah. very good friends. Mm. So whatever happened between them, we don't know. What we can ask them is for now, for, six, for peace sake, we just need to let it go. If it happened, we thank God it didn't get to the point that it involved us. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, from what we saw in 2002, we wouldn't want a repeat of that. Mm -hmm. So whether it happened or not, we would like it to just go down. And as our leaders, they should show us a way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, do, do you see this changing the conversation in terms of followership, Probably, voting pattern? Yeah. Will it change? It might change. So it depends on how they, how they carry it out. By that, is that what I'm saying? we need to play very safe because mm. if it's not played well it might bring chaos which we don't want mm -hmm. so for peace sake and for for the sake of the elections that is almost coming and you see nominations are almost here in two weeks time will be uh, nomination will, 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 will start going so for peace sake we just ask that uh, for kenya mm -hmm. yeah because we usually say uh, kenya comes first uh, mm -hmm. yeah so for kenya's sake uh, if it happened, uh, we don't know. Mm. And if it didn't happen, if it's propaganda, we don't know. Don't know. Yes. Or of course, I, know, I, I would like you to tell me what you know. The yeah. hashtag is why in the morning at Ramaguko and that Y254 channel. I want us to take a short break, a short mm. commercial break, and then we'll be back in a bit. Keep it Y254.
Welcome back. This is why in the morning is all about youth and politics today in this particular conversation. We just want to uh, continue. If at all you're just joining us, my name is Ram Maguko. I am with Coletta and Billy here in this conversation as we dissect matters concerning uh, the nation. And of course, stories making headlines today on this particular Monday morning. And of course, on Sunday, the DP began his tour by conducting rallies at the uh, Mwembe Tayari Market in Mombasa uh, before proceeding to Kisa only for several stopovers where he rallied his uh, the residents to support his presidential bid come August this year. And of course, the DP firing a salvo at uh, President Uru Kenyatta alleged uh, that approximately one billion shillings uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, has been set aside by government to buy politicians from UDA just for the sake of weakening his side. What do you think about that, Colette? Whoa. That means <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. That's a tough one. That's a tough one because, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, why, 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 why spend money when you believe in your manifesto? Uh, then it's, it's, clearly, it's clearly a winning team. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, we don't now need to we buy. Where you are. We, we don't need to <laughs> buy. <laughs> but some people are believing UDA. Why are they believing? Because of the agenda that is on the other side. I believe it's time that we want, we get what we deserve. Mm -hmm. I believe it's time we get proper and clear leadership. And uh, uh, of course, by now you should know my choice. Yeah, yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's, 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 it's no. I, I don't think it's, it's, it's well, available. Really? Yeah, yeah. On the, on the issue of uh, buying politicians, I think uh, it's quite unfortunate. We at uh, UDA, we think uh, that the money is spent, like for, for example, you have said that uh, the deputy president claimed that a billion shillings has been used to buy politicians from uh, Jubilee Party to, from UDA Party to join Jubilee Party. So on that issue, I think there are more pressing issues uh, right now in Kenya. We have uh, the economy, uh, the economy is uh, rising, people cannot, uh, put food on their table. People, the economy is too. The price of uh, basic commodities are not uh, uh, the normal price. Mm. Sure. So people are suffering and I think that money, mm. if at all it, it's true, mm. you know, we cannot even, um, we cannot uh, underscore what the deputy president has said. He's the deputy president in the government. He knows what is going on in government. Mm. And if at all what he's uh, alleging is true, then I think uh, priorities of this government at the moment, it's uh, misplaced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And uh, now moving on still in matters concerning uh, politics. Yeah. From UDA, let's come to Azimio. Yeah. Honorable Rodriga has a tough, tough, tough um, job and that many political pundits are saying uh, between either one, fulfilling the desires uh, of, of, of the people the the hopes yeah. that people have put on him mm -hmm. the expectations people have planted on him and two or or two yeah. the desires of his new yeah. allies they have come with demands i believe i believe it's one point it's just that uh, <laughs> it's one point because mm. whatever agenda and whatever needs that uh, I believe it's just that we are expecting a lot from him mm -hmm. and uh, whatever agenda and that's the reason why people are moving from UDA to Azimio is because of the bigger picture we need help as a country and uh, we need a leader who is very firm we need someone who can now sit down and take us back you know Take us back, they give us a better economy, give us a better system in terms of, uh, in terms of education and everything. Mm. And we clearly have seen uh, Honorable Raila Odinga, uh, whatever he does, he does it uh, wholeheartedly and he gives it his best and he delivers. Mm. So I believe people are moving and uh, the reason people are moving is because of the agenda that is on Azimio, yeah? mm -hmm. that is making people move. I don't which think is better, which is better, or, 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 which, which is, is better. which is way better than what is on UDA. Clarify that. We are working on system that <laughs> something that is realistic. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are working on realistic, and we are working on with something that can be done. 
we don't want you to promise me something that l literally cannot work in the next five years. Mm -hmm. We don't need you. It's like the governor for uh, the governor who has been working in uh, in America for the last five years, and now he's back, saying mm -hmm. he wants to be elected again. I mean, mm -hmm. we want something that we will start seeing in mm -hmm. the next hundred days after you getting into the office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I believe uh, the manifesto is more realistic than what is. What UDA is selling? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, do, do you believe the same? No. No. Actually, let me uh, let me agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So she's talked about um, something which is achievable, something yes. which is uh, realistic. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you look at the side of the deputy president, uh, the party leader of UDA, mm -hmm. officially now, mm -hmm. uh, what he has been promising the, the youth. Okay, when you look at the youth, uh, okay, we have to look at the youth vote. Mm -hmm. yes. The youth vote, which makes up to uh, about 51% of the total votes, when you look at uh, 2017 um, statistics, mm -hmm. the youth make 18, uh, age between age uh, 18 to 35 make up uh, around 51% of the 19 million votes. Mm -hmm. When you look at that, um, what the deputy president have been promising the youth is... Um, when you look first, the first promise is on uh, 100 billion Kenyan shillings for small, medium, and uh, small, medium enterprises. When you look at this uh, 100 billion, and when you look at the industry or the 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 industry of the small businesses, these are businesses which are carried out by the women and the youth mainly. Majority of the people who carry out those those business are the youth. So when you, uh, these people don't have access to credit, they cannot access uh, capital to start their business and run their business uh, in a good way. Yes, yes. So what the deputy president is doing uh, is promising 100 billion to give um, 100 million, uh, same as CDF. But the each promises both from UDA, for the no, of the youth, this is specifically UDA, as he also has promises for the youth. Sure. Specifically to UDA, the deputy president has promised that uh, he's going to give uh, this uh, credit, the, the, the youth groups, the circles, the small businesses, credit uh, about 100, million, uh, 100 billion shillings. Mm -hmm. uh, the other issue is um, the deputy president has uh, promised that he's going to invest on uh, projects which involve housing and uh, manufacturing and issues which are uh, labor-based, which is going to create employment to the youth. So those are realistic things. And when we look to the other side, um, I think uh, the only thing I've uh, managed to pick from Raila Odinga presidential campaigns is the issue on 6,000 social protection program. You know, giving out uh, 6,000 shillings to the vulnerable uh, families in Kenya, I don't think that will be a good idea to empower the youth and the women, you know? Okay. 6,000 in Nairobi, you cannot even survive uh, two weeks, you know? But still, people are leaving you dear to us, you? No, that's not the fact. I think it's the it other way fact. around. It is, this is it something is. that they're doing right. You know, mm -hmm. uh, UDA, UDA have been welcoming uh, as, uh, defectors since <laughs> last year, <laughs> <laughs> up to All today. Right. Uh, by the end of uh, the period, the deadline for uh, changing the parties. The it was on Saturday. So yeah, on Saturday. Yeah. On that day, UDA signed, I think, three governors. So I think it's the other way around. UDA. All right. I want people are joining you, dear. I want us to bring this conversation to a close yeah. and, uh, and, and, and narrow it down to ourselves, sure. um, the role of youth and, uh, uh, you know, um, in, in, in terms of leadership and governance. Mm -hmm. how, how can we change the narrative where we have blame games, insults, this person did this, propaganda? Mm -hmm. um, is there a lens that youths can use coming to the election that will help them to, to select the right leaders for themselves that can enable them or establish them to have an environment that is conducive both for business and for learning. Let me start with the collector. 
I think um, uh, this is the right time actually for them to, for the youths and for anyone who has a voter's card to sit down and really look and articulate at who you are really want to, who you really want to choose. In terms of if you're going to a job, you, you have to give your CV. So these are the things that we usually rub off when it comes to politics. But it's something very important. As you choose your leader, you should know, you should, you should know at least what is 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 it someone who mm. is um, is it someone who's realistic is it someone who can change whatever he's saying is it someone who's giving you realistic ideas mm -hmm. or is it someone who's telling you something just to brush you off something that is i mean it's is it something realistic mm -hmm. yeah right. so as you go as and choose your leaders it's all about it trickles down to uh, the manifesto, of course, and it trickles down to uh, them as a person. So way out whether whatever they're saying is going to be uh, to make sense, whether it's realistic, yeah. and whether the models can work. Can on the work, ground. yes. All right, uh, Billy. Um, briefly, what lens can the UK can you use to, in order to for them to select the right leaders for themselves? Yeah. Just within a, within a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I think at Youth Kenya Falcon Group. We do believe that um, the youth will be uh, at the center of these elections. The 2022 general elections will be an historic election where the matters youth uh, will be a priority and it will, be a, it will take a center stage during these elections. So this contest during these uh, elections will be about the candidates with the best youth, youth agenda and the best uh, youth ideas, ideas to bring empowerment, to bring uh, matters youth uh, interest, youth fund, All right. and matters that. So right. these elections will be about the youth. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, Coletta, final yes. word. Um, you can talk to your people. That is your camera. You have something to say to, the, yeah. to, your, to your people because I know you are vying for uh, a seat. Yeah. MCA, Member of County Assembly, Harambe Ward. Yes. Talk to your people just within... Uh, uh, 30 seconds. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure actually working with you so far. And as you know, uh, I keep on saying uh, it's, it's time for change. It's time for change and change starts with you. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's, it's unfortunate that uh, we, have to, we have to campaign with things like Bursary, Youth Fund, because <laughs> it's something that you des it's 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 what it's what you need it's what you deserve so it's it's unfortunate that we have to again bring it up in terms of uh, in, in in times like this but uh, i promise you a better harambe i promise you better healthcare i promise you better education systems where when it comes to how our schools will be yeah so mm -hmm. thank you for giving me and trusting me so far with uh, where we are so far All you right. can follow us on facebook at Pamoja Nakoleta, mm -hmm. yes. That is Pamoja Nakoleta, that is where you are? That, that, is? Is, that is our page. That's your page? Yes. Pamoja? Nakoleta. Nakoleta. Yes. Or oh, Pamoja Nakoleta. Yes. Or oh, do, do you know what I had? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that goes to the end of this particular conversation right here on Youth and yeah. Politics. Remember, we still have more coming your way in a bit. Okay. Thank you.